Welcome back, everybody. Well, parents always think their children are special and unique, but let's face it, some people end up more successful than others, and the question is, why? There is one Harvard professor who says this does not happen by chance. The secret lies within how each child is parented. Professor Ron Ferguson is director of Harvard's Achievement Gap Initiative, and he's co-authored the upcoming new book, The Formula, Unlocking the Secrets to Raising Highly Successful Children. Thank you so much for coming in to talk with us. Good to be here. We appreciate it. So uh, you say that there is a hidden pattern that you have researched among graduates of Harvard and other top schools. What is step one in becoming a master parent? Well, my co-author, Tatcha Robertson, and I find that there is a pattern in the life stories of highly successful people. And we find eight roles repeated in these stories of folks from all kinds of different backgrounds. Uh, race doesn't seem to matter, socioeconomic status, it's the same basic pattern of, of parenting that we see across all these different folks. And in fact, you, you've sort of come up with this formula, if you will. Mm -hmm. That's the name of the book, is the formula. Right, right. These eight roles that parents need to adopt as many of them as they possibly can. We want to put them up on the screen and actually go through them with you. Right. And you start the first one you call the early learning partner, that that's what you want to be as a parent. Right. The eight things you want to be, what is right. that? Yeah, the early learning partner is the parent who spends a lot of time with the child doing things that the child experiences as fun, mm -hmm. but where their learning and their understanding of what life is gets, um, is all about learning. They're used to having little projects of their own, learning mm -hmm. to persist. Mm -hmm learning to be fascinated so that by the time they get to kindergarten, that's just what life is they're all about and they're accustomed to learning with adults. How about the flight engineer? The flight engineer pays close attention to what's happening outside of the house, particularly in school. And so if anything starts to go wrong in school to knock the child's trajectory off path, the parent intervenes quickly to set it right. Then the third role is the fixer. The I'm fixer sure. makes sure that no opportunity is missed because of a lack of resources or for any other reason for that matter. So we had one mother who sold her wedding ring in order to buy a flute that the daughter needed for to be a part of an orchestra she had to be a part of. Who's the revealer? The revealer is the parent who shows the child life's menu, places to go, types of people you can grow up to be, things to be interested in. How about the philosopher? The philosopher, beginning when the child is very young, has serious conversations. They take the child seriously mm -hmm. as a thinker. Um, help the child to find their own ethical compass, to find a sense of purpose, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to make, make good decisions. I was just saying to right. Paula the other day right. that my daughter pointed out right. a crush and said, that, that's the wise man in baby Jesus. Right. Well, who is Jesus? And I could have, in, th in theory, just blown the question off or mm -hmm. said, oh, you right. know, he's some guy. But you're saying, right. no, you have to try to take that question seriously and answer them seriously. You take it seriously. Uh, you allow the child to listen in and even participate in adult conversations. Mm -hmm. You expose them to the realities of the world. Don't sugarcoat right. everything. And, of course, children are always watching, right? right? And you're the model. Right. The model is the adult who carries himself in a way that the child thinks, I want to be like that. And they just see ways of maneuvering and moving through the world that they can then emulate. And then the seventh is the negotiator. The negotiator is the parent who teaches the child how to bargain, how to negotiate, how to uh, speak truth to power, mm. but also how to behave, how to carry themselves so that they are respectable and attract the respect of the people whose, whose respect they want. And how about the GPS navigational voice? The GPS navigational voice is the parent in a kid's head. <laughs> that voice that, that brings along all those messages that the earlier roles imparted so that long after the parent is not actively every day there in the child's life those uh, those insights and so to the best of your that. ability you want to be each of these things you want to be each of them and we found for all these for for the vast majority of people that we focused on all the roles were there mm. and and that was kind of the discovery finding that in each case these parents who had not been taught right they were so determined yeah. to be good parents that they figured it out. They had what we call the burn, mm. which typically was based in their own backstory. There was something in their own life story that sure. made them determined to be really good parents. I saw a uh, reference on Twitter last week yeah. that really made me think, and it was a pe pediatrician who said to someone, I see two Americas in my office every day, mm -hmm. parents who are controlling screen time mm -hmm. and parents who aren't. 
right. how do you see the parental role in clearly exposing children to technology, mm -hmm. but being able to control it at mm -hmm. the appropriate level so that their education doesn't suffer? The best advice I've ever heard on screen time is use it like you would a book for about the same amount of time you would a book mm -hmm. with some instructional intent, mm -hmm. right? I mean, the roles in the formula are about interacting with your child and paying attention to your child's development, and the screen time ought to fit into that. Well, the book is The Formula, Unlocking the Secrets to Raising Highly Successful Children. Professor Ronald Ferguson, uh, along with Tatcha Robertson, thank you so much for coming in. We really appreciate Thanks it. Thanks for having me. Thank you so much. Let's go to Eric and 